I was sitting in art class um, about a minute, minute and a half ago when my instructor brought in two nude models that he'd hired to sit for our class. And um, the one model, she was pretty thin, she was quiet, unremarkable appearance. The other nude model, she was an older woman, a little bit overweight, um, very pruney, very saggy. Um, but the thing about her is, when she disrobed, she had a little strand of, of toilet paper that was you know, wedged between her butt cheeks, hanging down her leg. Well, she sat down, and uh, we all started to draw these two models. I didn't draw the one model. I decided to stick with this lady, the lady with the toilet paper, um, hanging out of her ass. Um, and when I drew her, I, I made sure to emphasize all of her all of her imperfections. I made her her stretch marks uh, look like lacerations, and I made her butt cheeks bleed over the the edges of her chair like a like a couple of drooping flabs of pizza dough or uh, or elephant ears if some demented hag had cut a pair of them off and taped them to her hips. You get the basic idea. This wasn't a flattering portrait. Um, if the paper could talk, it would have said, oh, well, get this bitch off of me, or, or at least draw her with a machete in her forehead and a leaky butt. Well, after I finished drawing her, I, I finally spoke up about the little strand of toilet paper that was still wedged in her crack, and, and it was now being gently blown by the fan on Mr. Schlott's desk. That was my art instructor. Mr. Schlott, well, he, he weighed about 450 pounds, and he would sweat every time he blinked, uh, which was a real pain in the patoot because he would soak your artwork just by looking at it. Every time the guy leaned over your desk to have a look, it'd be like a, a hurricane rolling in. Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off track here. You, you have to stop and realign me um, when my stream misses the bowl, hon. Anyway, I told this uh, this nude model, the old lady, um, that she had unknowingly picked up a souvenir the last time she powdered her snout, and I pointed at her butt, and she looked down at me from her chair, and she said to me, this is true, I swear, I'll never forget it. She said it just about a minute, minute and a half ago. Um, she said, I don't believe in Halloween because it has pagan roots, but I do believe toilet paper absorbs blood when you've pulled two bricks of heroin out of your ass.